Enterprise Value versus Equity Value. In this short chapter, I'm going to outline the difference between the enterprise value of a business and the equity value of a business. Simply put, the enterprise value is the entire value of the business without giving consideration to its capital structure. It consists of both the equity value and the net debt of the business. So the equity value is calculated by taking the enterprise value and deducting the debt and adding the cash. The enterprise value is calculated by taking the equity value subtracting the cash and adding the debt. The simplest example of this that I can give is with a house. If you were to describe to someone your home and the value of your home, you would be talking about the enterprise value of that house. You would say, my home is worth a million dollars. That's the enterprise value. Now let's suppose you have a $500,000 mortgage on the home and therefore you have $500,000 of equity. That's the other side of this diagram. It would be very unusual to walk up to someone and tell them that the value of your home is $500,000 of equity. People don't typically care about the size of your mortgage versus the equity. They just want to know what the whole home is worth. That's why in business valuation, we typically talk about enterprise value more commonly as it strips out the capital structure and just looks at the value of the whole business. So on the enterprise value side of this equation, we compare the enterprise value to things like revenue or sales, EBITDA, and EBIT. Notice that these three metrics are all before interest on the income statement. That's because this does not give consideration to any debt on the balance sheet. So these items must be before interest on the income statement. On the other side of this equation, we have equity value metrics like price to earnings, price to book value, and price to cash flow. Notice that these three metrics are all after interest. So earnings, book value, which is an equity value metric, and then cash flow, earnings and cash flow are both after interest expense. And therefore, the remaining value is available to equity holders. Hopefully this gives you a clear understanding of the difference between enterprise value and equity value. And it's important to always know the difference between the two and which one we're talking about.